it's a time-honored tradition blowing out the candles on your birthday cake. But when you hear what's sometimes left behind when those candles go out, you might decide against having a piece of cake. Diane McInerney with the Inside Edition Cake Test. It's a great American tradition, blowing out the candles on your birthday cake. But is that really a good idea? <laughs> Happy birthday! Here at Inside Edition, it's a birthday Happy celebration, birthday and the office is throwing 25 year old Alyssa Bonito a party. It's hard to tell, but Alyssa is feeling a bit under the weather. <coughs> She's been coughing <coughs> and blowing her nose all week. Sometimes when you're sick, you don't look it, but you feel it. So we got to wondering when you blow out those birthday candles, do you also send thousands of germs onto the cake? To get an idea how germs can travel, we put this cake under an ultraviolet light. This is how it looks before we blow out the candles. Then, using a fluorescent powder, I blow out the candles. Just look at the difference. The fluorescent marker shows how a single breath can blow germs onto a cake and lead to possible contamination. So what about Alyssa's cake? First, we swabbed the cake for bacteria before Alyssa blew the candle. We swabbed again afterwards then sent them off to a lab to see if Alyssa's cold infected the birthday cake. Four weeks later... Alyssa, are you ready? I'm ready. We have the results. All right. Here's what we found. Eight different types of bacteria, including one called Staph aureus. It can cause skin infections and potentially dangerous, life-threatening pneumonia. Oh my God, that is not good. That's really bad. Skin infections and pneumonia, you said? Yes. Wow. Pretty shocking. Yeah. And how many germs wound up on the cake? Before the candles were blown out, according to the lab, the bacteria count was zero. After the candles were blown out, the amount of bacteria, according to the lab, was so high, the lab stopped counting after 5,000. The lab told us it was too numerous to count. 